Alright, so in this video I'll be showing you how to customize video settings in Windows Movie Maker to make your video meet EdTPA standards. Now this is going to be one of the last things you'll probably worry about in this process, but when it comes time to do so, you're want, going to want to be conscious of a few things. You're going to want to be conscious of the resolution of your video, which has to be 640 by 480 bit rates, which are going to ultimately affect the file size of your video, which needs to be between 2 and 500 megabytes. Alright, so go ahead and open up your project file. So I'm going to use this one for an example. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is create custom settings to produce this video with. To do that, we need to come over here, and in the upper left-hand corner of the Movie Maker screen, you're going to see this little blue tab here. And if you click it, it's going to drop down a menu, and you're going to have some options. About halfway down, you'll see this Save Movie, and if you hover over it, it'll pop out a menu to the right. Now if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of this menu, you're going to see Create a Custom Setting. If you click on that, it'll open up this Create Custom Settings window and you're going to be given a few options here. The first thing you're going to want to do is name this set of settings. So I'm going to name it EdTPA because then if I want to come back and reproduce a video with these same settings, it'll be here and I won't have to go through this again. Alright, so the next thing you want to do after you've named your settings is you're going to want to adjust the resolution. Now like I said, you need to have a resolution of 640 by 480. So we can change that simply by coming in here, the width, if I highlight this, and then replace it with 640, and then do the same in the height box, so I'm going to replace that with 480. As you can see, changing these doesn't affect the estimated file size. What's going to do that is going to be bit rates. Now bit rates can be a little confusing, but they're going to be ultimately what affects this file size here. So let's say I kept the default bitrate of 8000. If I come down here, it's telling me that the estimated file size with an 8000 bitrate is going to be about 58 megabytes per minute. So what does this mean? Well my video is about a minute and 53 seconds long, so just under 2 minutes. So I can easily figure out about how big my video is going to be. So if I come down here and I multiply the 58 megabytes per minute times my 2 minutes of video, it's, I'm going to have a video of about 116 megabytes. Now that's just under the 200 mark that we are aiming for, so this bit rate would work for me. However, you're going to be working with way bigger video clips, so you're going to have to obviously pick a bit rate that's smaller. Alright, so how do you find a bit rate that works for you? Now, there's going to be a couple ways that you can do this, but one way is just going to be to play around with the bit rate. So, as you can see, if I type in a lesser value, the estimated file size goes down, and if I type in a bigger one, it's going to go up. Now, this method can be frustrating if you aren't coming to a number that works for you. So, if you have this compressing videos document, on the second page you'll notice this little table here. And this table just gives some common bit rates for these video lengths here. So, this could be a resource for the guess and test method. So if you had a six minute video, you know that your bit rate has to be between 2,000 and 5,000. So let's say you tried out a couple bit rates and this table still isn't getting you close enough or you're not getting the bit rate that you want. You can also come here and we have created this bit rate calculator. To get to the bit rate calculator, you just need to come over here and you'll see this Excel spreadsheet icon. If you double click on it, it'll open up this Excel spreadsheet. Alright, so the only thing I need to know to use this calculator is the length of my video in seconds. So the video I'm using is a minute and 53 seconds. So in strictly seconds, that's 113. So I need to take that number and just type it in this B column under length of video in seconds. And then I hit enter. And as you can see, it'll calculate my bitrate for me. And I can just copy this number and then put it in the bitrate box in Windows Movie Maker. Now as you can see, my estimated file size has gone up substantially, but let's say I don't believe this bitrate calculator works and I want to make sure. As you can see, if I have an estimated file size of 104 megabytes per minute, and I have two minutes of video, I'd have a file of about 208 megabytes, so it worked out pretty good. So once you've found a bitrate that works for you, you can go ahead and click Save, and then it'll prompt you to name these settings. And like I said before, if you save these settings, you can then use them to later render files down the road. And then go ahead and click Save again. And then you can close out of the custom settings box. Now the next thing you need to do is produce your video. Now to produce the video with the settings we just created, you're going to want to come back to the menu bar, 
and click it and then save menu and as you can see the settings we just created will be kind of towards the top so if you click on those it'll ask you to name your movie and I'm just going to name mine my movie and then click save and it'll take a moment to render and as soon as that's done you're ready to submit your video